Martina Navratilova agrees with the ban on trans women competing in female athletics. Martina Navratilova has backed the World Athletics ban on transgender women competing in female events. The tennis champion, 66, who recently beat breast and throat cancer, said allowing trans women to compete against biological females was obviously unfair due to a number of physical differences. Last week World Athletics voted to ban trans women from elite female competitions if they have gone through male puberty. President Lord Coe said the integrity of the female category is paramount, but conceded the governing body was not saying no forever. Navratilova, who is a member of the Women's Sport Policy Working Group, set up to create fairness for both trans and biological female athletes, said, Athletes who are champions are revered for a reason. They rise above the rest when everything else is equal. But when you change that starting position and do not begin from a level playing field, then it is obviously unfair. Dot. The nine times Wimbledon champion said it was no accident there were no complaints about trans men competing against biological men as they were not at a physical advantage compared to the female field. Men have a greater lung capacity, skin thickness, muscle mass and height and the ability to breathe faster and deeper than females, Navratilova said. If you're playing, say, tennis, basketball or volleyball and need to put your arm up to serve or jump for a ball, you can see what I mean. Women essentially have to jump seven inches higher to be on the same level as men, she said. Having spoken to scientists, trans and biologically female athletes, Navratilova had come to the conclusion that the best solution would be to have biological female and girls categories and then an open category where people of all genders could compete. Writing in the Sunday Times she said, with an open category there are no question marks. No provisos, no asterisks, no doubts. It's a simple solution. Olympic medalist swimmer Sharon Davies has campaigned against trans women competing against biological females for five years, which has seen her subject to online abuse.